In this video, we are going to continue with the general term of a GP. You will find this on page 50 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Find the number of terms in the geometric progression. So it's three and then the last one. And you have to see what term is that last one. What is the position of that term? So basically, I tell you it's a GP. So if, I, if you just want to first find the value of R, you take the front and you divide it by the back. Okay. And that's what I did there. Okay. So it's actually easy. One divide that and it's just the reciprocal and that's the value of R. And now I just substitute. I substitute that TN. I substitute the value of A. I substitute the value of R. It's, it's maybe, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. It's maybe a bit more challenging because you make use of indices but the method is staying the same okay so just remember your rules of indices so basically i just multiply there and i'm i'm doing uh, for this i cannot so i'm trying to get the basis the same otherwise i must go to logs so as soon as i can get the basis the same and this is what i did there um i was i was actually trying i saw this is two so if I said 4 times 2 and I was seeing, okay, but let's see it's 11, this is 11. So test it out, um, trial and error, until you find that that basis are the same. And then you can equate the exponents. And you can say this is equal to this, so therefore n is 5. There are 5 terms. Okay, bit more difficult than AP because you're going to make use of exponents indices. I think I'm just going to give you 2 or do 2. I'm going to do 1a for you. And I'm also going to do number, I'm just going to number four. I will also do number four. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, here it is. Okay, let's start. Number one, A. Find the number of terms in each geometrical progression. And I was actually giving you a very easy one that you just conquer the method. And then we will go for a more challenging one. Okay, so I want that position. I want the value of n. But if I look, I know that the value of a is 3. I know it's a GP, so the value of r can be getting, but okay, this is term 1, term 2. So it's term 2 divided by term 1, which is 6 divided by 3, which will be 2. Okay. And then, um, yeah, that's that. And then don't forget your general formula tn for gp a or n minus 1. So if I'm substituting it, I'm just going to start by saying uh, that last term, 192. The value of a is 3. The value of r is 2. And then I'm going to say n minus 1. Now, very, very important, you cannot multiply this two because of this exponent. The exponents must be the same, 1, 1, then you can multiply it. So, but I can divide by 3. That I can do. And that's basically what I did now. I just divide by 3. And as soon as I divide by 3, I'm going to get 64. And now, prime factors, always remember your golden rule, but maybe you can recall it because you did so much in ordinary level, it's 2 to the power of 6. Otherwise, you just go 64, and you go 2, and you go 32, and you go 2, and you go 16, and so on. Okay, but that's 2 to the power n minus 1. Now, the, if the bases are the same, you equate. So you say 6 is equal to n minus 1. So therefore n is equal to 7. Ah, and you can end up nice, of course it's a word sum, sum to, sorry, there, there are 7 terms in the sequence. And that's your final answer. Okay, let's do number 4. Which term in the progression is equal to this? Okay, I was doing this because it's a bit of a fraction. 
So, but let's let's first write it down. So it's 54, 36, 24. Okay, and here comes the term, and it's 3 and 30 over 81. Okay, don't, don't forget this is term 1, term 2, term 3, and this is Tn. And don't forget your general formula, Tn equals A or N minus 1. And now basically I just substitute. So in the, in the place of, it's actually better that I write it here. You can just write it here. Because in the place of Tn, I'm going to now put that 3 and 13 over 81. The place of A, 54. Oh, I forgot to work out the value of R. So if I want to get the value of R, remember it's T2 divided by T1. So it's going to be 36 divided 54. And that's going to be 2 thirds. Okay. So I'm going back to this. 2 thirds. And then I'm going to say N minus 1. Again, you cannot multiply, but what you can do is you can divide by 54 and divide and, and use your calculator. Press 3, ABC 13, ABC 81, divide 54. Just, just do it like that. And you're going to get 128. It's going to give it as a fraction and 2187. And that is going to be the 2 over 3 in minus 1. And I'm moving it up a little bit. Okay, and now prime factors, prime factors. And if you do that, it will be 2 to the power 7, 3 to the power 7. So basically, okay, let me, 2 to the power 7, 3 to the power 7. Okay, I'm putting that step in, not really necessary. So if I'm then putting it up, it's going to be 2 over 3 to the power 7, 2 over 3. In minus 1. So therefore, and now I'm starting, I equate the exponents, the bases are the same. Can you see that? I'm moving up again. So in is 7, oh, that pin. Let's just get the pin correct. In, oh, I can do it the other way around. Okay, so it's 8 equals in, so I can end up by say by saying there are eight oh no 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 eight terms or it's the eighth term doesn't matter one of that methods I repeat what I said also in IPs in is a position so because it's a position, it starts with the first position, you came first in the race, second, third. You can't, there's not a negative number, also not a fraction. So n cannot be a negative number or a fraction.